Welcome back to Moose and the Loose, my second channel here. Today we've got a video of Jamil Giovanni, who was voted in in the Durham by-election, a conservative, who gets to take his seat in the House of Commons today. And I don't know if there's a video you guys would necessarily want to see, but that's why I got it over here on the second channel. It kind of just gives me more indication of what you guys want and not want to see. It shows a little bit of the tradition, how they do this in the House of Commons when there is a by-election. A by-election is an election that is held to fill a, a space in office between general elections, which is what happened in Durham with uh, Jamil Giovanni winning that. As we can see here on the screen, Jamil Giovanni got 18,618 votes, 57.6% of the vote absolutely obliterating the Liberals, NDP, everyone else. Let's jump into this clip. Order. I have the honor to inform the House that the Clerk of the House has received from the Chief Electoral Officer a certificate of the election and return of Mr. Giovanni, member for the Electoral District of Durham. Mr. Speaker, it is an honour to present to you Jamil Giovanni, the Honourable Member for Durham. He has taken the oath, signed the roll, and now takes the right to claim his seat. <laughs> Honourable Member, take his seat. It's happening. Getting the Liberals out of power. <laughs> it's a high five i don't know why they caught the audio there but uh that's funny to throw the high five in there so he uh gets ushered into the back there and then he has a seat up so in the top every day could be like this oral questions cast your so they go into oral questions here, which I'll do on the main channel, but uh, which is going on right now as we speak. So Jamil Giovanni now has a seat here in the Conservatives on the top here, right there. And he doesn't have a photo. That's how fresh this is. This is a, it's just kind of a sense of hope to seeing another seat being taken by Conservative. We can get the, these Liberals out of power. We can get Canada back on track and get this country fixed. That's just kind of what the feeling was there of seeing another conservative seat being filled up. It's been many years now since we've had common sense in the government. It is just, it is brutal. And we still have another year of this before we can get Trudeau out. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by here. This is my second channel. If you want to subscribe here, uh, it's a little extra insurance and backup um, just because you never know what happens. It's great now I can see this channel is fully in the same algorithm as my main channel. So uh, if something does happen to me, if I suddenly my main channel disappears, you guys know where I'll be. I'll be here. It makes it a lot harder to silence me and silence the truth. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.